flags before I need to activate all these. Zol Stissa, the scaled god of the lizards. Duna, the stoutest of the seven. No wonder the dwarves pray to him. Ah, Tirsindilius. Worshipped by my people. Hmm. Sabil chimed in on that one. The curious sculpture comes alive as you reach out to touch it. It thrums with power and throws flickering dancing shadows against the walls. The carving is covered in strange glyphs that feel oddly familiar. They surround a gently glowing stone that makes you think of the night sky rolled into a ball. Trying to read the symbols, you hear a faint whispering at the back of your mind, as if you're listening to the echoes of a past age. Your mind swims, and, for a moment, the glyphs become clear. You read, Our first lord's babes with power glowed, Our seconds born in blood that flowed, Our thirds young to the wind return, Our fourths to glowing flames adjourn. Our fifth lord's cubs with minds were blessed, Our sixths had brawn beyond the rest. Our seventh brood spread from earth to glen, and thus no king shall rise again. You try to hold your focus as the whispering echo fades, but the letters waver, contorting and merging until they're nothing but meaningless glyphs once more. A riddle from the past, or maybe a riddle about the past. this before this looks like the thing we saw at the beginning oh did I just forget to push this one it's a Mardia my dummy um, well that wasn't right oh there's an order oh man I don't know their stories that deep relic i used to pray to her zantetsa the goddess of mirth worship the god of the orcs it's amadia the mother of wizards Zol Stissa, the scaled god of the lizard. Duna, the stoutest of the seven. No wonder the dwarves pray to him. Well, that wasn't Worshipped right. by my people. Uh, I do not want to randomly have to figure this out. That sounds awful. Gotta be something. Even if I listen to this, I don't know what the heck they mean. I don't know enough about them. The sculpture is covered in strange glyphs. Something shifts within the sculpture, and I you're knocked hard. back by a sudden burst of energy. The glow from the columns surrounding the barrier fades, and the room is still. Wait, what? The sculpture is covered in strange trying to read your mind swift. You read, our fifth lord's cubs with minds were blessed. Our sixths had brawn beyond the rest. Six would be dwarf. Our brood spread from earth to glen, and thus no king shall... You try to hold your folk. The sculpture is covered in strange glyph trying to... Your mind swim. You read, our first lord's babes with power glowed. Our seconds born in blood that flowed. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna figure it out just from that. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I got bullhorns now. I'm gonna look this up because, uh, that is way too much to try to figure out. Midnight oil. Oh. Linked the god pillars to the elements. Ah. 
Okay. The sculpture is covered trying to read the symbols. Your mind sweat you read our first lord's babes with power, power glowed, blood our born in blood that wind flow. our flames young to the wind return our fourths to glowing flames adjourn our blood wind flame our fifth lord's cubs with minds were blessed mind our sixths had brawn the seventh's brood spread you try to hold you that's too much to remember our Maybe a magic? I'm gonna split them up. Trying to read the sim your mind swims. You read our first lord's babes with power glow. Our blood. Okay, there. Your blood. Wind flames. This a Duna, the stoutest of the seven. No wonder the dwarves pray to him. Zul Stissa. Our fifth lord's cubs with minds were blessed. Our sixth minds blessed beyond the rest. Strength. Tessa Rierger. Ah, Lady Santessa, Lord Vrogir, champion of martial challenges. Shit. I forgot that one. Why didn't you click it, you dummy? Seventh's brood spread from earth to glen, and thus earth. no you try to hold your foot. Earth. I don't know, I have to keep clicking on that. Relic. Middle, top, bottom. Relic, the first. It's a Mardia. The ma well, that wasn't right. It's a Mardia. Stoutest of the seven. No one the Zul st Ah, Lady Santessa. You were the only one of the seven. Lord Vrogir, a champion of martial challenges. Relic, the first. Got it. He was as bullish as Vrogir. In his own way. Alright, figure it out. Everyone group up. Cool. Oh man. We need to walk all the way back to Losa. Most of them were already closer. What is the name of 
Lucian's prize pig is going on here. His prize pig. I wonder what they did in life to deserve such a resting place. As the creature crawls from the sarcophagus, you hear a gasp of breath. Fane steps forward, never taking his eyes off her. Cool. I, I must speak to her. It is vital. Please stand aside. Heck yeah, dude. You hear a gasp from the creature as Fane steps forward. It speaks in a hissing, clicking language that seems both completely alien and somewhat familiar. Fane raises his head and responds in the same jolting, clicking tongue. He seems to be pleading with the creature, his hands outstretched. He has a tongue? The creature looks down at him and shrieks in rage. Her uh -oh. gestures are quick, strong, and violent. Whatever she said, it seems to have devastated your friend. The verbal barrage continues, but something changes within Fane. He looks up, and golden light pours from his skull. When he speaks next, you understand every word, but you're not sure the words are his own. Uh-oh. Aetira, Aetira. I had hoped to see you turn to dust in this tomb. Is Alone, that the god speaking through him? With only your secrets for comfort. Lady Amadia? Whoa! You possess him. Have you fallen so far that you seek shelter within that? Does your vessel even know what you did? The war you started? The greed and avarice that saw you betray the Eternals? The glow fades, and Fane seems to return to himself. He staggers slightly, exhausted by everything that's happened. These creatures are The cool. creature turns away from him, and, panting, turns to you. The creature looks down from its perch, trembling. It crawled out of that sarcophagus as if it had forgotten how to move its limbs. It turns to you, and you see its face is covered by an intricate mask. From behind its unmoving lips, you hear a noise. It starts as a groaning, croaking chatter, but slowly becomes more distinct. It's speaking. May Saravel te de Laruntu, Shamari. Speak slowly and loudly. I don't understand you. The noise cuts off abruptly. After a moment, you hear a jolting, lurching voice. It wears the face of Ralic, but speaks the tongue of beasts. How cruel. I suspected the Seven Lords won the war after they locked me here. But seeing their faces on dumb creatures, a depressing confirmation. Gracchus, the king you're referring to? What is this senseless braying? I speak of no beast king. I speak only of the king. The eternal king of creation. The king against whom the seven lords rebel. Deep within your soul, you feel your god stirring at the sound of the voice. You can feel its anger and fear swelling inside you. You told me who you are. Creature leans forward to get a better look at you, clucking and tutting under her breath. It seems to be a simple form at its core, a source that, a walking, unfortunately talking, source that. Fascinating. I wonder how to extract the source from the vessel without. <gasps> she pulls back suddenly, recoiling in horror. It, it is rotting. Almost imperceptibly, but it decays before my eyes. It does not even have a century left. The god within you reacts. His emotions a cocktail of fury and fear. You hear his voice, demanding that you give him control, demanding your body obey his will. No, I'm going to repress the god. An eternal does not answer questions from whatever creatures happen to lumber into view. Especially when there is so much to be learned about their source. What happens to it, I wonder? Does it lie in whatever ditch it falls in, as its body decays? Or... Ah, no, of course. It is harvested. The god thrashes against your control. You can feel it hissing that this creature is dangerous, that it cannot be trusted. To have had the technology of the Eternals, and made this... How crude, although effective in its own way. Yep, gonna contain him. Poor creature. 
created for a sole purpose, and yet so ignorant of its function. It is a tool to collect source until it is ready to be collected. Most likely by its creator. That makes sense. And given that face, I can well imagine who your creator may be. What a lazy way to feed one's power. <laughs> and one's ego. Yep, I'm gonna fight him. You start to speak, but it's too late. Relic breaks free, and the voice that emerges from your mouth is not quite your own. Etera, you worm. An eternity locked away was too good for you. I should have seen you ground to dust and fed to the wind. Your heresies deserve nothing less. The figure recoils, as if struck. Relic! What... what happened to you? Did you truly fall so far? Silence! It is your king that has fallen. He and all the other eternal cowards were flung into the void. And the power you were too scared to hunt has made me a god. And yet, here you stand. Small, uh -huh. weak, decaying. Zing. I will not even need the Aetiran to grind you into the dust. You feel your god freeze at the mention of this Aetiran. A cold terror settling in your chest. Take the back. unruly passenger did not deign to tell it. He did not want his host to know I crafted a weapon that would leave him an eternal once more. You feel your god thrashing against your control. Where? You croak in a voice, not quite your own. Ha! Ah, of course you never found it. You always lacked imagination, Lord Ralic. Zing. I hid it in these very caves, although I can feel its distance now. Someone has uncovered it. Perhaps they intend to flay the godliness from you. No matter. Given your pathetic state, it is mine to collect at my leisure. As for you, you monstrosity, you were designed to be defective. You were built to die. And I rather think it is time you fulfilled your function. But do not fear. I oh man, don't kill me. I thought you were cool. You can kill the god all you want. Dang it. Dang it. This might be a tough fight. Let's see what we got here. Might want to take over one of these guys. Nice. Hey, you flying away from me? Oh, okay. She just summons them. What the? Okay, that's a lot of guys. You can do it a third time? Okay. No. At least you didn't do that to... Seville. Nice, nice punch, Crunchy. They just switched order. Dude, Fane has no armor. <laughs> What's his sword skill? Why can't I use it? Not enough action points. Oh. I am to none. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not something I want. 